<laughs> it just threw blood all over <laughs> McGinn, all over me. No. Wow, that's pretty right there. So I'm headed out with Brian Landry and we are going to do some offshore fishing today. It's going to be an amazing day. Water's going to be perfect. I'm pretty excited about this. So we're going to head out by Uchico. We're going to hook a right and we're going to hook a left out the pass. And we're headed out to some big water. Stay tuned. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make Yeah, why did you tell Did this yesterday, they wouldn't hit anything. And normally, these bonita strikes, you can't, you can't. They're gonna hit everything you throw at them. Normally. That's bonita. So we stopped to throw it. Uh, all these bonita out here. They're just crashing everywhere. And Brant's on the other boat over there. <laughs> Wave at Brant. <laughs> He's coming in on our spot. It's a spot stealer right now. No, not yet. Oh, dang it, I lost one. Oh, got another one. Ah, <laughs> oh, came off. <laughs> He's right there. When in doubt, zip tie it out. Amber Jack. That's a lot of. There was a lot of meat on that that dang fish too. Beautiful though. Beautiful fish. What you think you got? King. Uh, amber. That looks like an amber. Yeah, he's fighting like an amberjack. All right, we're like 10 minutes in. I already got a fish hooked up. I think it's an amberjack. And we got Jack Motley here, the WD-40 king. <laughs> the WD-40 king. <laughs> Show him some muscle. <laughs> we got color. It's an AJ. Yep. Okay. hooked up again. <laughs> First fish of the day right there. Yep. We got Rainbow Runner out here. It's Rainbow. He's hooked up. What do you think it is? I, you know, I don't know. I thought it was a rainbow because he's not... I don't think he's huge, I think. I don't think I got a lot of drag on him. I think you got shark. I think I got either shark or barracuded. Hopefully bring up enough we can still eat him. <laughs> Can't let the tax man get him. Yeah, the, oh, it's an ice jacker valve. Oh. Nice jacker oh. valve. Well, yeah, you might a lot of energy wasted on that rascal. <laughs> At least it woke you up, got you good and limber for the next one. I'm putting on a top loader. Whoo! He smoked that. Now those. These might hit some water. That's a good one. Yep. Not as big as the one Alex had yesterday, but he's pretty big. Let's net him. Okay. He's got some spines on his tail that make it kind of hard to pick him up. It kind of cuts in your hand. All right. Man, through Fish that. Fish in the boat. That bait didn't last very long, huh? No. Oh, okay. He's going oink oink. <laughs> ah. 
getting my knuckle in. All right. Oh wow. Got this big old Jack Ravel. He slammed that uh, scale sardine. I mean, as soon as we got him up. Well, yeah. Right. Hooked up again. What do you think it is? Did he come on? No, he's yeah. on. You got him. Might be a rainbow. He looks a little bit smaller. Yeah, he can drag it all. It looks like just a little AJ. Yeah, no, it did. Hmm? Yeah. That's good. That's good meat. That's a good chunk. Uh oh, he's, he's honoring now. I was worried about it going in. Hey, man, like maybe we got a cobia. Because he's staying up. He's not going down. Yeah. That's, that's not an amberjack. Yeah, because I didn't have it all the way down to the bottom. Kind of let it go like mid water column. And just, yeah, this isn't fighting like an amberjack or a jack corral. I thought it was a snapper for jack. a second. Yeah. It could be. Got color yet? Well, I would have gone up the tail out. Well, okay, you got him. Yeah, that barracuda was coming in. Yeah, far. He's, he's sure enough going to get him. Check it out. It's a nice one right there. It's a big bonita. Hit it about mid water column. Just came up right up and smoked it. Check it out. Look how pretty those colors are. That was some teeth right there. Yeah, yeah, All right. Cuda. Cuda for dinner. So we've been trying to catch one of those suckers for hours. Right when we were leaving, it was a good little, little sad minnow that did him in. Oh, oh, big oh geez, one. you got big this one. one. Oh, he ran away. He might circle back. There's a real big one right there. Yeah. They seem to be just chilling in the shadow and the... Oh, no. All right. It could be over. Oh, here it is. It here it is. Over. He's got it. Over. He's got it. Over. No. <laughs> Sink at the hook. He straight up. He straight up he took your it. jump. He swallowed it. Yeah, I mean, he inhaled it. If that was a close call, he inhaled it. I mean, just... <laughs> It came right out. All right, let's try again. We got his number, though. We got his number. All right, give him a good pep talk. All right, Mr. Fish. I mean, he's he's acting really sickly. All right, do your thing. Do your thing. You got it. You got it. He's doing a good job. He's switching. I don't see him yet. Switching real good. Did he pick it up? No. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, look at that. Oh! Man, he took your junk. <laughs> He's taking three of your baits. Now, this is getting expensive. <laughs> <laughs> We're down three good baits. Going for a fourth. All right, give him a good pep talk. All right, All right do your fish. thing. Get out there. Get eaten. Act dead with a little live spunk. Oh, he's, oh, this is a good one. This one's a good one. He's doing a good job. Got you got him. You got him. Ho-ho! Barely got him. What we got there? King or a uh -oh, yeah, the Even John, too. Sweet! Samantha's gonna be excited. Me, um, here, we're keeping this. a barracuda. Me... Alright, we're changing spots. We done obliterated the barracuda. They scared and they ran away. Now we're headed to the next one. Alright, so we just pulled up the second spot. And there's some people on it. But, I'm feeling lucky. People on it. It's like a party boat. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, get up. I think I got him. I think he's coming up. Ain't no bass, that's for sure. Woo! This is a stud. This is a real stud. Big old amberjack. Got him. Amberjack on. Whooped him. <laughs> Got him. Hands on fish. Hands on fish. Woo. Jack's getting ready to let go of Jack. Yeah, this was a stud right here. <laughs> ready? Yep. Stuck right, <laughs> right when the water. I think we got him. Boy, he's just got a big AJ. Now we're at it again. We done repositioned and fixing to throw at him again. 
<laughs> see something down there. I see some color. Is it Jack? Jack Creval, huh? yeah. I think so. no, or Amberjack. Amber There's a barracuda. What you got there, Alex? What you working on, man? He's got in the bruiser. Really sure. Is it smooth or it's bumping? Some kind of smooth, kind of right, bumping. Scam. I see color. I uh, see color. What do you think it is? It's a snapper. Yes, sir. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Man. Pretty one, too. Oh, there's a dolphin over there. Woo! Look at season. He's going down for it. <laughs> oh, this one's. Uh oh, is that what I think it is? What is it? Looks kind of like an African papano, but I don't uh -oh, know. Yet. This one's fixing to go. Mine? Yeah. So get, no, I, mean, the net. I can see color. They need one reel down to get this guy. For uh, I think you're right. Oh, that's a go. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a nice See him down there. That's good eating there, Jack. Yeah, we want that baby. Oh, and that's the one with the pretty. Uh, oh, with the fin? Yeah, the trail, the tail. Is oh, on yes. The dorsal. That's it. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Get his head. Get his head. There we go. African pompano. Samantha's going to be happy. <laughs> anyway, get on this side over here. Like, wow, that's pretty right there. That meat is and how much meat you're gonna have. Yeah. Have you ever cleaned one? Uh uh. One, two. What you got over there? Big bonita. Big bonita. Hey, I'll sushi Whoa, him. Oh man, look at this. Talk about a nice vermilion, buddy. Uh oh. Check that out. That's a stud. Dinner right, right there. That's a dinner. Oh, that All right, Shoot, don't let him beat you. Is he under the boat? Oh. Is he a stud? Is he, oh, he is a stud. He is a stud. I don't even think they got that. What's that? Well, that's a big bonita. Okay. Just swing him. Check that out. Man, I tell you what, that's as big as I pulled in. That's a big one. That's, that's picture worthy right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. Then we got a million that we can eat on that run. And we got a, uh, Man. a 10, 12 pounder. That's a stud. Here, let me get a... Look at his tail. <laughs> Going left and right. <laughs> that's cool. He just threw roll. blood all ah. over him again. <laughs> all over me. No. <laughs> we got a bloody mess. I didn't even get a good picture. <laughs> hey, catch him, get him! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, let's, let's get him in the box. Got it. All right, we give up. Get him in there. Get him in the hatch. All right. All that right. one, one playing no games. That's a nice one right there. Yep. Come on. Okay. Not a giant, but not a bad one. That's, a, that's good enough for my rodeo. That's yeah. a good one right there. Yeah, let's get a picture. If you want to, I'll get you flowers waiting around the bend. Baby, let's just pretend. I want to stay like this forever. I want to stay right So we just pulled back into Bayou Chico and we're about to anchor the boat. We got a trunk full, chest full, whatever you want to call it, of fish. We got African pompano, we got bonita, you name it, we got it. And Samantha is texting me right now, that's what that was. And look at this barge, it's huge. Okay, so it's the next day and we're cooking this African pompano. Check out my new hat. Subscriber sent it to me. Pretty awesome. I was there, thought I'd wear the hat.
Samantha's over here getting the stuff ready and we're gonna cook it. It's gonna be an awesome recipe. I've never had African pompano before, but we're gonna cook African pompano. I had a bunch of it that uh, Brian sent me home with. It's right there. And I hear it's some of the best stuff you can eat anywhere, anytime. So, Samantha's gonna do her job, make it awesome. So Jack brought home the African pompano and to keep the integrity of the flavor of the fish, we're gonna do it really simple tonight. So here's the African pompano. I just put salt, pepper, and a touch of Old Bay seasoning on it. And then we're gonna let that sear up in the pan. And then after it's done cooking and searing up, we're gonna make a lemon garlic white wine sauce to go on top of it. So I've never made them just spitballing it, uh, measuring it just by eye. So here we go. So we're gonna name this dish pompano and white wine sauce. This is a pompano and white wine sauce that is, it's, it's really, um, it's a really fine taste. It tastes really good. Samantha's really the expert in describing this kind of stuff. It tastes really rich, garlicky, lemony. Yep. The muscadine wine kind of gives it a unique a, flavor. Mm -hmm. And then I threw in a few tomatoes from the garden just to kind of give it a little bite to it. So it's awesome. It's very rich tasting, but delicious. Delicious, that's the key word. All right guys, time to put the pompano in the pan. Just have a little olive oil right here. Looks good, smells good. Must be good, Samantha. Yeah, I hope so. All right, so we got some squashes from the garden. It's pretty pump, all from the little garden raised bed outside. Let me show it to you. Got all our garden stuff out here. Squashes, cucumbers. Our tomatoes kind of got hit by the pool over there. But uh, green beans, lettuce, okra, and tomatoes down there. It's pretty much enough to supplement all of our extras that we need to do. Our little, you know, extra tomatoes for salads and stuff for dinner. All right, let's see it. Yay! No burnt stuff today. <laughs> no burnt stuff today. Yeah, yeah. Change pans. Let's see that smoke, All Samantha. Right. Woo! So what did that do? Uh, it deglazed the bottom of the pan. All those uh, crispy seasoned bits, we're gonna, those are gonna come off the pan and then be in our sauce. Don't waste too much of that wine. Good stuff right there. So now we're gonna cook the alcohol out of it and then it'll leave the flavor. This is actually a muscadine white wine, so it'll have a unique taste to it. So, it's pretty good. So we found the Chateau Elan wine uh, on one of our ventures. It, it was a vlog like a couple of years ago. We got kind of lost in uh, uh, up there in Atlanta, like north of Atlanta country up there where Samantha's from. And it was this winery. We went to it, and it was muscadines, and it was like, like the wine literally tasted like a handful of muscadines. You stuffed it in your mouth, and you bit down on it. And we ordered a case. All right, here's the gravy. It looks pretty good, Samantha. Yeah. Pour it on there. Pour it on there. Woo! That's some skill in pouring right there. <laughs> Man, smells good, must be good. Wait, got one more thing. What, what else are you putting on there? Parsley. Parsley? That's what you were chopping From up. From the garden. From the garden, what I was just showing y'all. Pays to have a little herb garden. All right, so that was from our garden. It's our herb garden. It, I didn't show it to you, but it's on the side and Samantha has her little, all the herbs she can cook with and always have it fresh. That's the key. And I'm pretty excited about this African pompano. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take the first bite of the African pompano. Get excited about it. It has a lemon, garlic, tomato, white wine sauce. Looks good. So here we Smells go. Smells phenomenal. Oh, oh, it's oh. running away from you. 
All right, I'm excited. <laughs> mm. What does it taste like? Mm. I don't know. It tastes good. I'm not very good at describing how it tastes like. I need to work on that. <laughs> very right. good. Jack, you'll, you'll really like it a lot. It's awesome. I need, I need the plate. Get it. <laughs> no. Oh, you're gonna try mine? Yeah, I'm gonna try okay. yours. Not allowed to eat your, your pompano? Oh. Thought you were gonna make your own plate. All right, here we go. It's very white. It's really good. How do you like the sauce on it? Good. It's, it, it tastes very expensive. It's like what you get in an Italian restaurant with this stuff, but it tastes kind of like the pompano off the beach. Uh, just not quite as big. It's really good. A nice, fine, white meat. It's really good. Beautiful fish. Awesome meat. It's definitely something you should go after. But yeah, that's a, it was a great fish. You should definitely try to target this species. So you can catch these fish offshore on some of these wrecks. They seem to be pretty thick out there right now. They taste really good, they're big, they're beautiful, and you can catch them. They're not like something that is not caught very often. They're awesome, you can do a lot of different meals with it. So a lot of fish come on it, and you, or a lot of meat can come on the fish, yeah. and you can break it out into different kinds of meat. I was really surprised at how much meat we got off this fish. But I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it with everybody. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.